Okay, this is my um, contraption I use for raising and lowering my mast. Um, well, I did do on my previous boat on a Snapdragon 24 foot um, sloop rigged um, small yacht. Um, this contraption is basically made out of um, just uh, pine that I got from B&Q. Um, it's two lengths and that's the stuff that I bought. Okay, it's bolted two lengths together um, and as you can see here and uh, bolted one on top of the other and you can see I've got bolts going through the centre there or well, actually coach bolts going through um, and this means basically I could just adjust it to the correct length and size uh, once I got it on the boat so I will basically set this up at home um, apart from drilling these bolts through um, which meant I could slide top one or back one forwards or backwards to get the right length. Um, so how I do it is at this end here I've got this bit of plastic tube to represent the mast. I know it's not the same size of the mast um, but um, obviously I'm not gonna I don't I can't it's not easy to film this obviously on dry land. So using this bit of waste pipe here as representing the mast. So I've cut this V groove in the end of the contraption here and hold it in place while I set it all up and hold it in place whilst using it for the raising or lowering the mast. Um, I strap it with these uh, ratchet straps round because I've got these um, these bolts with the eyes on the end going up through the timber there and that just sort of helps to hold it in place and stops this moving up and down um, and I normally put two of these straps on so I have one ratchet on this side one ratchet on that side um, so then you've got obviously just a little bit more surface area here holding in position. Have this about as close as to, as to the bottom as I can um, um, to the base of the mast um, just so it's near the hinge point, fulcrum if you like. Um, so I have that in position there and going to the other end here you can see I've got from the winch up there You'll see I've got a pulley here. Um, I took a bit of a gamble here really. I just got any old pulley really. Um, it's not actually rated for any strain or anything. And I got a little bit worried about that might that, that might shear. Um, so as a bit of a backup I have this this eye bolt here. So should that fail, this should hold it. Um, I'll say <laughs> if you're gonna use one of these. Uh, copy my design. It's your own risk and responsibility because I've done no calculations on this. Um, yeah, so at your own risk. So anyway, how it works, obviously, fasten it on, as I've described earlier, onto the mast that end. This end, um, you have hanging just over the bow. And when I did this, my boat was out of the water. And what I did is uh, my boat was fully chopped up on my trailer, so there's no movement. It's strapped down to the trailer. And the other end of this winch line here, um, I basically clipped onto the front, well, wrapped it round underneath the drawbar of the trailer, clipped it onto the rope to make a loop sort of thing there, like so. So that's secured now down onto the trailer. This is hanging over the push pit, so the push pit was about here. I say push pit, pull pit, I should say. Um, and, um, and then on this eye here, I connected the um, Genoa halyard onto that end there. And to stop, so as, as we're sort of um, lowering, so we're lowering the mass now, to stop it from moving sideways, moving that way or that way, as this is going up, um, to lower the mast, um, I use these eyes here. Um, with ropes just going down to secure point on that kind of a tow rail or base of a stanchion. There's not a lot of strain on there, it's just to stop it, keep it in balance um, to stop this moving um, to either side. So basically secure the halide onto there. Do you know a halide? This is onto the, onto the, um, around the trailer, this, this wire here. Take up a little bit of strain with the winch there, down here with the trailer winch, which is bolted all the way through this first section of timber 
I mean, you could ideally bolt it through two to make it strong, but that's fine. I was happy with that. Um, yeah, and then basically I disconnected the four stay, and because the the do you know how it is now attached to this, um, I can now basically just um, gradually lower it back by just winding this, and obviously this will go up as the mast as the mast pivots backwards, um, and obviously it's the reverse. Obviously for setting up to hoist your mast. Um, this would be vertical, you'd have this secured to stop it, any sideways movement, so I rope from here down to your tow rail, rope from here down to your tow rail, um, and then to raise the mast, obviously we're doing the opposite, so you'd be taking it on the winch here, which would in turn be pulling through here and pulling down, pull this down towards the front of the boat, down to horizontal, to where your mast is then raised. I hope that makes sense. Um, if it doesn't, um, have a look at my um, Sailing Tansara video, um, which is also on, the, on my YouTube channel. There. There's not many videos there, so you'll see it in, in action. Um, let's say, quite a simple rig, didn't cost that much to make, um, but you know, just um, have, have a backup with, with things like this. Oh, it's a bit loose at the minute, but he says have a backup there, it's all loose. But um, yeah, that's just in case that was to go. Um, you've got a backup there that you know if that snapped obviously that'd take the strain um, Yeah, it worked very well very controlled um, Yeah, um, and it's and I've, I've got it and it'll fit most boats now um, Obviously not too big a boat, but um, yeah, I did my 24 foot um, snapdragon Raised and lowered the mast with it a couple of times and no problem uh, really simple and easy to use um, yeah, any questions, just um, obviously contact me via my YouTube channel and I'll try and answer as best I can. Um, no expert, like I say, this is a bit Heath Robinson, but it worked. Um, yeah, good luck if you're going to have a go, but yeah, it's a good bit of kit.